In this video, we'll replace a push to open button with the Norton 700 wave to open switch connected to a Norton 5700 series power operator. For more information, visit NortonDoorControls.com. The tools required for this installation will be a flat blade screwdriver, a Phillips number two screwdriver, four conductor wire, and some wire strippers. To start, ensure the power switch is in the off position. Remove the cover from the operator and then turn the breaker inside the unit to the off position. For safety, make sure your external power is disconnected. Verify the high voltage power source before proceeding. Once the power is off and it's safe to work, remove the mounting screws from the push to open button and remove it from the mounting box. The wave to open switch requires 12 to 24 volts of DC power, as well as dry contacts for operation. So the existing two conductor wire will need to be replaced with a four conductor wire to power and operate the wave to open switch. Pull the wire from the mounting box to the operator, leaving enough slack on each end to make the proper connections. Now that the old push to open button is removed, let's start by wiring the new wave to open switch. Using your wire strippers, strip back approximately a quarter inch to expose bare wire on all four of your conductors on the wave to open switch side. To ensure the proper wiring connection, loosen the screws fully and note the silver contact is all the way down. Insert one wire into each of the following terminals. The power positive terminal, the power negative terminal, the normally open or NO terminal, and the common or C terminal. In this example, we'll use the following color wires. Red for the power positive, black for the power negative, white for the normally open, and green for the common. Tighten the screws on each of the terminals to ensure the wires are secure. Now you can mount your wave to open switch to the wall. On the operator end of your wire, you'll need to strip approximately a quarter inch to expose bare wire on all four of your conductors. Now let's make our connections. Connect your power positive wire, in this example we're using the red wire, to the power supply plus V terminal. Connect your power negative wire, in this example using the black wire, to the power supply negative V terminal. Then connect your C or common wire, in this example we're using the green wire, to the 2 terminal. And connect your normally open wires, in this example we're using the white wire, to terminal 1. Ensure all of your connections are secure. And congratulations, you have successfully completed the installation. Now it's time to test the operator. For more information, visit NortonDoorControls.com.